Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a YouTube end screen in Adobe Premiere. The first video I'm going to be showing you, you don't need any plugins for, and then the second one, I'm just going to show you a cool plugin by Red Giant Universe that you can add um, a cool background effect, which is this right here. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and let's jump right in and get started. So the video on the top right is gonna be your own personalized video. So you wanna have that ready before you start with this tutorial. Um, it could be anything you thanking your viewers for watching or maybe talking about your next project. So let's just jump right into Adobe Premiere. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump into Adobe Premiere. So what I did, I just went to File New and I created a new project. And now what we're gonna be doing is creating a black video. So just go to File, New, Black Video. And I'm just gonna keep it at 1920 by 1080. And now I'm just gonna drag in my black video into my sequence. And now what I'm gonna do is grab my other video that I want on my top right hand side and I'm just gonna drag that into the sequence as well. And now I'm just gonna lock the video and delete the audio because there is no audio um, for that video file. And now I'm just going to zoom in here and drag my black video footage to the length of the other video so that the length of the videos are the same. So now what I'm gonna do is click on my top layer which is this robot layer and I'm just going to scale this down and then I'm just gonna move this to the top right hand side of my video. And now I'm gonna to go to my black video layer and we're gonna be adding a couple just simple effects. I'm just gonna ser search for the four color gradient, which is right here under generate. And I'm just gonna be dragging that into my black video layer. So as you can see, four colors pop up. Um, and you can change these colors to any colors that you want. So I'm just gonna change this to a green color. So just using the select tool, you can select the color panel on the left-hand side to change each color to whatever color you want. So the one on the top left, I'm just going to change to a blue color. So now we're gonna add some text. So we're gonna come down here to our text tool and I'm just gonna click into the center of the black video background and I'm just gonna type in a little message. So this can be whatever message you want, check out more of my videos or you know, please subscribe. So I'm just gonna um, type in, check out more quick tips and tutorials. And now I'm just going to center this text and using my select tool, I'm going to move the text to the spot that I want in the video. And then I'm just gonna look at all the font options and again, you can change it to whatever font you want. I'm just gonna pick a font and now under appearance, you can change the text color. I'm gonna leave mine at white, but um, you can change it to a different color. And now I'm just gonna do a simple scale animation. So I'm gonna come down here to where it says scale. And first I'm gonna move my text to the beginning and I'm going to drag it using the bar so that it fits the entire video timeline. So with the timeline ruler at the beginning, I'm gonna select my stopwatch and I'm gonna start at zero. And then I'm just gonna drag my time ruler forward a little bit. And I'm gonna set the scale at 100. And that's just gonna create a simple zoom in animation now I'm just gonna add one more text using my text tool. I'm just gonna put down here at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe. And then using my select tool, I'm going to center this into the position that I want. And then if you scroll down, you have all the formatting for the second text. So I'm gonna animate this as well, but I'm gonna move my time ruler forward a little bit because I want the zoom to happen after. So I'm gonna 
select my stopwatch and just move my time ruler forward as I did with the first text. And then I'm gonna make this 100. So I started at zero and then I ended at 100. So let's just do a quick preview. So because I started my keyframe on my second text halfway through the timeline and I started at zero, that text is going to zoom in after my first text. So as you can see, the second text zooms in after. So that's it for this video. I'm going to show you a cool plugin by Red Giant Universe. Um, so this is a plugin that you will need. I'm going to go ahead and delete this background, the four gradient background that we created. And I'm going to be adding in a background that is offered by Red Giant Universe. So I'm just going to go to my black video layer and I'm going to delete the four color gradient that we created. And, then, and now I'm going to come over here to the right hand side and I'm going to search fractal. So we're going to be using um, this fractal background by Red Giant Universe. <clears throat> and I'm going to drag that into my black video layer. So you can play around with the settings. You can change the animation speed, um, the fractal type. So I'm just going to go with this ridged fractal type. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.